Got to admire the dedication from Chicago Fire supporters taking the bus departing at 11 a.m. this morning. They've arrived in time to celebrate hopefully three points tonight. The Fire visiting the Columbus crew. Duca, who scored here last year, goes against his former team. Yes, but guess who's back? Look at that right back position. Stephen Kinney, over a year. The last time Stephen Kinney played was the home opener against New England last season. So welcome back. Arietta spearhead the attack. No place for Dominic Oduro. You'll see Justin Miram and Ethan Finley. Trap, what a player he's been in the central midfield also. But it's that man, Iguain, playing the number 10. And also playing in the number 10 role. Main point from Coach Yallop is the attitude has been great from Quincy, or rather Juan Luis Anangano, despite the adversity and not adverse conditions. Room temperature here for kick in the Chicago Fire and Patrick Ianni. For the Chicago Fire here on the road through the first nine minutes. Iguain, Greg Berhalter, the head coach. Now it's Iguain springing a man in. The drive. They strike, Ethan Finley makes it 1-0 here in the 10th minute. That's three goals in a week for Ethan Finley. Look at that for a defense splitting pass from Iguain. It all came from a sloppy pass from Jeff Laurentowitz. Greg Cochran couldn't get back on time. I thought he had got there. But Finley, three goals in a week, scored his first goal in MLS last week. A goal during the week. And now another one. Blistering pace from the former Creighton Blue Jay. And Columbus with an early lead that has the fans on their feet here at Crew Stadium. Johnny keeps it on the grass to Iguain. Greg Berhalter had Iguain switch to number 10 as here Columbus trying to sneak loose again and Johnson feel Iguain. Arietta slipping loose, drives the shot, Megs Johnson, 2-0 Columbus. A very basic pass from Higuain. It looked like Patrick Ianni had it dealt with. And Arietta just uses his strength. Out muscles Patrick Ianni and slips it through the legs of Sean Johnson. That's very good forward play from Jairo Arietta, left out of the Costa Rican side for the World Cup. And he's making a statement tonight. 2-0 Columbus Crew. Benji Hoya was making the run, solved with that back line from the crew. It was Eric Gehry. Sanangano in ship. Anangano pings the post! But now Miram lines up to Iguain's right instead of his left like last week. And it's going to be all Iguain. Stretching was Johnson. Just bent wide. Yeah, and well played, Sean Johnson. Obviously, the wall was in good shape. Iguain had to go to the left of the wall, and Sean Johnson just pulls away his arm at the very last second, just knew that that ball was going wide. Great goalkeeper. Looking for the soft service towards the back post. That long paw of Steve Clark reaches up. Just shielded out. Stays in. Gallup and the Chicago Fire are going to have to figure things out with the depleted side. Now in the 83rd minute, Columbus trying to make it 3-0. Loose ball. Taking the deflection, Jeff Lorenowitz and the Chicago Fire get a bit of a break there. Yeah, let's see that again. And maybe Harry Ship here. Just watch this one more time. Confusion at the back. And Ongano completely misses the ball. Yes. And it's Harry Ship. On the goal line. 
Bumped forward by Williams. Dominic Oduro making the run. Across for Higuain, returning to Oduro. Drives the shot. Fought off by Johnson. This one's over. Fire. Fall to Columbus. 2-0. They stop Oduro late, but can't stop Columbus in the opening half. 